Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing. It is from the Fat Quarter Shop. It came yesterday. Um, this is two of the mystery fabric bundles that I have been seeing going around Facebook for a little bit. Facebook. Not Facebook. YouTube. <laughs> Not enough coffee today. So let's get in. I've already cut the tape and I've already taken the paper. There was paper on top. And it came like this, minus the paper. Um, so I got two bags here and Lulu can have the box. Lulu, you want a box? There you go. <laughs> I'm off work today so I get to film some videos for both channels. So we're going to get into this one first. So from the Fat Quarter Shop, I got two. They were $11.98 each. I have no idea what's in here because I have watched several of these and I've seen a lot of the bags have like a lot of Christmas fabric or like maybe a lot of Lori Holt fabric. And that's kind of what I was hoping, but we'll see when we open. I have moved my lights around a little bit, so I'm hoping this is better and less shadowy. Um, I just had to pull my desk out and move the lights like behind the desk, which is what I should have done a long time ago. Let's get into the bag. So it came in like a nice, almost kind of muslin bag and i can tell by looking they're not folded up they're they're just kind of squinched in there so let's untie the top there is a hang tag that just says scrap bag yes that's what it is scrap bag all right so she is packed to the brim in this bag and we're just gonna start pulling out Ooh, okay right off the top there's your box lulu do you want it I would pick her up, but she would be like, nah, rah, 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 rah. so here is, is there anything on a selvage? Do I have a selvage? I do. Fairy dust is all I'm getting on the end of this selvage. Something fairy dust. And it looks like swallows and stars, starbursts, all different kinds. That's a pretty good size piece of scrap. That's with a fabric and it is a good She's found the box. Like 10 inches. So not bad. You will have to iron all of these. So here is the same in a different colorway. Nothing on the salvage except for the color coordination um, like bits. That is a big piece. That is 14 inches. There's that one. I'm going to try to run through these quick. So, I mean, I know y'all don't want to be here all day. Um, black. Ooh, that is thick too. So a piece of black. That'd be good for Halloween. Any Halloween type things you got going on. This one, I'm not going to measure every one, but these really big ones. This one is a just shy of 14, about 13 and three quarters. Pull out another handful. Ooh, what is that? Okay, we have some leaves. I'll definitely be putting that to use here soon. It's Raleigh Blake, but I don't know what collection. So there's some leaves that can go down with my um, autumn pieces because I do want to start that very soon. Guys, I started, I didn't start a new job. I got promoted at my job, so I'm now a store manager and I'm doing basically the same thing that I've done. Um, this is very pretty. It's a Raleigh Blake. But that's all I see is Raleigh Blake. That's very pretty. Look at the little birds with their toboggans on. Look how cute that is. A mistletoe. Okay. So that is more Christmassy. Here is a nice thick piece of pink. Again, that is a nice big chunk. That is 15 and a half. Okay, with fabric. So some nice big pieces in this one. That's that's half the bag. Okay, let's yank the rest out. And again, I use these bags. I um, use them for gifts. You could stencil on that or paint on that or sew. Oh, Christmas. I see Christmas. 
I knew um, this does a lot of Christmas fabric. Mickey Mouse Red Truck Christmas Disney. Let's turn him where he's upright here. Mickey Mouse. Look how adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay. I might do a Christmas scrap quilt. Um, like I did my string quilt, but in Christmas fabric. This is definitely more Halloween. Again, I can put that with my fall, fall fabrics. Because I want to, this is a red grunge. Again, I can use that for a Christmas scrap quilt. They're in there playing. Everybody's in the house but Pedro, I think. Yeah, I'll let Pedro outside. Pumpkin was outside, but she wanted to come back in. The rest of this looks like it could be due. It could be Christmas. Is this a batik? Um, I think so. Just a nice, nice foliage, foliage, foliage pattern. Ivory, tan. And then this one is Basic Gray Jolly Good Bermuda. I like that. That's a big piece of fabric, guys. That is over it's a hair over 17 17 and um a quarter yeah 17 and a quarter one more piece that is just a nice basic green again a good size piece okay so there's the first bag not disappointed in that at all for $12 um I've been wanting to do a Christmas scrap quilt. And, uh, so that gave me a lot of good pieces there to use. Let me take these. What are y'all doing in there? Again, she's just tied up with a hang tag. Lulu. I know it's Lulu. Well, if I can get the knot undone, we will be doing very good. Okay, on the top I see some blue and some green, some more Christmas, some more Christmas. <laughs> um, Marcus Fabrics copyrighted Pam Buddha, Buddha of Heart Spun Quilts. It's a really pretty blue. I almost thought this was Lori Holt, but nope, but it would go good with her fabrics. Again, that's a big piece of fabric. Here is some Christmas. These are Christmas packages. Um, it's a Raleigh Blake. Beverly McCullough of Flamingo Toes. Something adventure. Cute. Um, chartreuse green. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with this piece, but it might match some of my um, Halloween greens. I know it would match some of my Hall Halloween greens. And here is a purpley black gingham plaid. That'd be good for the Halloween. Priscilla pretty something on the selvage. This is, oh, this is cute. We got, see if I can, little people on bicycles, little ladies having like coffee or tea. There's a little lady walking her doggy. There's a couple walking um, arm in arm there. I think that's all the people. It's a girl carrying some flowers. That's cute. I don't know what I would use that with, but I, I mean, if you make scrap quilts, you use everything. <laughs> And one piece, this reminds me of the Grinch because of the green, some holly. This is Riley Blake, Nicholas by J. Ricker, something, something. But and we're not done. There's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. See some more pink. See some purple. Here is the lavender. Very pretty.
here is just a piece oh wow that is a huge honking piece that one is 17 and a quarter of just a pretty off-white this looks like road to round top agf food to no road to round top I don't know what that is, but it's got like the star. It's got a star print on it of different kind of nude blushy tones. Again, that would mesh really pretty with Lori Holt. I don't think I got any Lori Holt. I'm sad. I have to buy two more. <laughs> this, what is this? Periwinkle Pat created by the Daily Adet Sitar, E D Y L A, Dahlia Sitar of Laundry Basket Quilts for Andover. So, Laundry Basket Quilts. That goes really good with the, the piece. Um, like all these. This was the off white, this was the star, and this. So, um, somebody probably bought all three of those together, <laughs> and that's what was left. Here's another piece of the pink. Is that the same color pink? Nope, this is a darker pink. And last piece is a blue. Again, Raleigh Blake. That is all of them, guys. That is all of my scrap that I got. So, yeah, that's a lot of scrap. That's a lot. So I need to get those ironed and put away. Um, and I'll show you two other things I got while I was out thrifting real quick. Um, I found at Goodwill. And look in your um, linen area at Goodwill. Like where the curtains and like table runners and stuff like that is. When you can use curtains if it's a good material to sew with, craft with, um, flannel, flannel shirts, men's flannel shirts, um, any kind of cotton you can just cut apart. But I found this, I have not measured it out, but it is a big piece of material. It is autumn and I'm getting ready to do an autumn quilt. So I'm hoping this might be big enough to do at least a partial back and piece the rest of it. I got this for $3. And it is Woodland, what was it, Woodland Pines from Moda. Woodland Pines by Holly Taylor from Moda. This feels fantastic. Got it for $3. So I'm hoping um, there's enough there. I've not unfolded it or done anything with it, but it's a nice big chunk. And then I was walking by Joanne's Fabrics. I did go in and buy a couple things. Um... Did I already show you this batting? I think I might have already showed you this batting, but I'll show you again. Check your Joann's. Um, this is a cotton polyester blend batting. I got it for $6.47. Yeah, I, I showed you this in my other haul. But um, that's a good little piece of batting. It says crib size 45 by 60. But I got two of them, so I can sew those together. I can sew those together and make a bigger piece for $14. That's a good size piece of batting. That is it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have bought these mystery bundles before. I will leave the link to um, Back Quarter Shop down below. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. We are going to finish up these blocks. These are the um, blocks I started with Holly, Holly's um, dandelion stitches. Holly. Her so long and I didn't get to finish it, but I had all the blocks, a lot of the blocks made. So I made up some more blocks. And I had a layer cake. So I improvised and he, these are the blocks we were making for the so long. I cut down my layer cake to uh, match the size of the, the block. And I have nine big blocks here and have some more um, layer cake left. So, and I have some more um, enough maybe to make a couple more squares. 
to make this even bigger. I don't know yet what I'm going to do or if I'm just going to use these nine, but those are done. So I am going to sew these together later this afternoon and make one big square out of these nine. So three by three. I'm going to be doing that this evening. And then we may start cutting our material for, um, it was a pattern by Fat Quarter Shop. Let's see if I have it like close at hand. It was the, um, shoot, the one it took by eights. That's a layer cake glue. I printed off a bunch of Fat Quarter Shop patterns. Jelly Roll Twirl, Jelly Roll Twirl. But anyway, I'll find the pattern. It took Fat Eights. I have a lot of Fat Quarters. So we're just going to cut those to size. It's not not right there so it's somewhere floating around but that's the one we're going to work on next and i'm going to be using all autumn fabrics so that's why when i came across this i was like oh my gosh yes okay that's it as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one i'm going to go film a beetles nail polish kit unboxing on my other channel so if you like beauty things plus size hauls goodwill haul um fashion hauls um, go check me out on that channel. They're always listed down below. I'll see you guys on the next one.